August the 17th. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Psalms 86 verse 16. One of the reasons why we supplicate or do rituals such as prayer is to evoke qualities of ourselves. Thou art my king, my king, henceforth alone, and I, thy servant, Lord, am all thine own. Give me thy strength, O, oh, let thy dwelling be in this poor heart that pants, my Lord, for thee. G. Terstegen. And, of course, we should give credit where credit's due, that the abilities we have are because of God's permission. When it is the one ruling, never-ceasing desire of our hearts, that God may be the beginning and end, the reason and motive, the rule and measure of our doing, are not doing from morning to night, then everywhere, whether speaking or silent, whether inwardly or outwardly, employed, we are equally offered up to the eternal spirit, have our life in him and from him, and are united to him by that spirit of prayer, which is the comfort, the support, the strength and security of the soul, traveling by the help of God, through the vanity of time into the riches of eternity, let us have no thought or care, but how to be holy as devoted instruments, everywhere and in everything, his adoring, joyful, and thankful servants. William Law Removing all ideas of limits, and forms, being a type of limit, you know, gender also. Let's not revile time, because it's not the deity of time, or the deity of space, or the deity of matter, that, you know, is vain. It's our approach to that vain use of time. So if you understand, Kalima.